What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's perkin'? What's really good in the hood? It's your man Theo Butler, and yeah, man, it's Wednesday. Y'all already know then. Y'all hit that. I know I dropped some video yesterday, but it's Wednesday, and so y'all already know with it being Wednesday, it's hashtag recast the channel. Else hashtag boycott Black Panther two video. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Y'all know. And actually, oh, uh, that what if episode last night, early this morning makes this one easy. Did y'all check it out? Before we begin, y'all already know how I like to do this. Click, like, share, subscribe. If you know me, grow me. Leave a comment. Sharing is caring. Y'all already know. If you don't like it, leave a comment. Tell me why. Just let's just be, you know, just be respectful about this thing and everything like that. But did y'all catch the whatever episode last night? It came on 3 o'clock this morning. Did y'all catch it? Okay, cool. If you did not watch the what if episode, I'm finna drop, I'm finna spoil it. Leave now. Y'all still here? Oh, okay, cool. All right. So, my dog, the child just cannot. Listen, this has to be the most tragic figure in the MCU. It is not Steve Rogers. It is not Steve Rogers by a long shot. Y'all, because y'all, y'all already know I'm going with this one. Y'all, y'all saw the title. The humiliation of T'Challa in the MCU. First of all, <laughs> You got to be dumb as a box of bricks or just not give a damn if you over at Marvel and you still making these decisions when it comes to T'Challa. Because you by now done heard people upset that you finna kill off the king. You done heard by now people upset about that whole damn burial scene. And what do you give us? You give us a damn what if what he kidnapped from Wakanda for no damn reason. He didn't even get the Peggy Carter treatment. You know, where he got the super soldier serum. He could have got the Dr. Strange Peter Parker treatment where he became the master of, 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 of the, the of, of, of magic. You know, you know, you know, the dude, you know, the man, you know what I'm saying? He no, he got kidnapped. And they said it. It literally says abducted. Damn. Marvel. Nate Moore. Damn. The king, the prince of Wakanda abducted. And that's literally what you got up on your damn screen. Are you, are you? Bro, y'all can't be that damn dumb. Y'all. Let me go down. Let me, let me do this for y'all. Let me do this for y'all. Just so y'all understand where we're going. The treatment. It, forget to challenge it. This is a king now. Prince. King. How we come across this dude? Let's talk about how this dude has been humiliated from day one. Dad get killed right in front of him. That comes back later. That comes back into play later on down the road. Um, he gets into a fight with the Winter Soldier. Now, if you can get into a hand-to-hand -hand combat with the Winter Soldier and you holding your own and you look like you're about to whoop, it, whoop his ass, you should be beating the hell out of Hawkeye, Clint Bart. See where I'm going with this one. So, yeah, he was fighting Bucky on the rooftop. Bucky looked surprised. The dude actually was running past some cars. That was dry. That was, yeah, yeah, he was out running some cars that was moving. Okay, um, they put him in the back of a damn van. I, I, I know, I know he took his mask off when they arrested him. Bucky and Captain America, but they put him back in the damn van. No, they did not put him in the back of any vehicle that a prince would be in. Mind you, at this particular point in time, he was on his way to being king because his dad had been killed. Damn, that's humiliating. Put him in the back of a damn van where he got to sit in the back. Do you you see that anywhere? No foreign dignitaries with him. No Dora Milaje with him whatsoever. They literally have him sitting in the back of a fucking van. Yep, that's how they did that. Then we go along to where he gets into a fight with Clint Barton, and we're supposed to believe that Clint Barton is going toe to toe with Hawk with T'Challa. What world? I don't give a damn about the, about Clint Barton being no assassin. I don't get. He's not going toe to toe with no T'Challa. Steve Rogers go toe to toe with T'Challa. Logan Wolverine go toe to toe with T'Challa. Hawkeye. Clint Barton? No. That's what y'all gave us. Damn, that's humiliating. Then we see him 
Black Widow's thing. So I'm supposed to believe that the most advanced country in the world ain't prepared him to have a suit that is a, capable of dealing with all of the Avengers powers, including the widow stain, but she shoots him and stops him momentarily three times, right? Okay, cool. Then he jumps onto the jet when it's leading, when it's flying into the air. He's got vibranium claws. What the hell was the tire made out of? Because he could never get a hold of the damn tire. He falls. Really? Okay, let's keep going in the damn Civil War movie. He finally gets up with the dude that he knows is responsible for killing his damn father. Now, he was ready to kill Bucky a minute ago. In this damn movie, he looks at Helmut Von Zemo. The living are not done with you yet. What? Oh, milk toast ass. And yes, I'm talking about T'Challa. Okay, let's keep going. When we get to Wakanda, what's the first thing Okoye tell him? When you see the kill, don't freeze. I never freeze. What did he do? He froze. Oh, will me oh soft drugstore cotton Charmin ass. He get off the plane. The jet in Wakanda. What did his sister do? She flip him off. This dude can't get no damn respect. Like humiliation after humiliation. What happened? We go to the waterfall. Jabari tribe ain't came down in no ain't, ain't came down in a minute. Dude been the Black Panther. He just wasn't the king. They didn't care. Dad died. Here they come. You know what that mean? Because they didn't come down to challenge him when his dad was living because they respected his dad. It was this dude they didn't respect. And sure enough, he come down. M'Baku come down, talk trash to him and his sister. Watch the dude face and say, you couldn't even protect your damn daddy. Um, it come, man, come on. For real. For real. For real. Okay. Then we see him get into a fight with Claw later on. About to kill him. And Claw is talking mad trash. Mad trash. Even Everett Ross is slick talking the king of Wakanda. This dude is being humiliated up and down the road. Meanwhile, I have Nate Moore, who is a certified brother. Behind all of the movies in which T'Challa has made an appearance and looked like a complete and utter fool. I digress. So, he tell Claw he should kill him. He call, mercy, King, mercy. And he give it to him. He don't take him back to Wakanda. We still got Eric Ross, little short ass, slick talking this dude. Who stands up for T'Challa? Oh, go ahead. Okay, well, damn. What winds up happening? We get back to Wakanda. Only to find out that Azuti been lying to him the whole time. It's the one time we see T'Challa still. I'm your king now. <laughs> Shit, God damn, you better ask me why I ask you these damn questions. <laughs> but Azuti ain't even want to tell the dude. He's out. Like, hey, man, I'm keeping this secret, this, the secret for the king. Secret for the king. Bitch, you, bitch, I, bitch, you don't give me the damn secret. Humiliation. What happens? His, his, his first cousin. No, that's not his damn first cousin. Ryan Cougar. Effing liar. It's not his first cousin. Anyway, in the jockey shows up and he look at Buddy sideways talking about, yeah, what's up, auntie? How you gonna let the dude talk to your mama like this? I should kill you now. You should have slapped him then. Dude don't get to talk to your mama like that. We know how the cold go. Don't no dude roll up in your house, talk trash in your house, especially to your mama without getting five across his lip. We know that. That's street code. I don't know where Ryan Coogler and Nate Moore been. We know that. That's what y'all let happen though. What we get then? He get to the fall. He throw his ass off the side. Throw his ass off the side. And guess who had to save him? The dude he was just having a fight with. Embarrassing moment after embarrassing moment. And this is written by a damn black man. Damn, bro, you so Americanized. You westernized for real, Ryan Coogler. Ouch. Boy, you so westernized, it's crazy. I, I must go ahead and say, you don't know how to write that story without tragic death and everything like that without a black man being just messed over. You don't know how to do that, do you? Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I'm not doing this video to make friends. I'm doing this video to point out something that's way too damn consistent with you when it comes to writing. I'm pointing out something way too damn consistent when it comes to this character. Okay, let me keep going. So after he get thrown off to the side and everything like that, we come to find out he being betrayed by his homeboy. Oh, man, for real. 
your best friend. Your best friend betrays you for a dude he knows tried to kill you. And then Wakabi know he knows Mbaku abducted Claw. Okoye told him. I know y'all ain't seen it in the deleted scene. Ryan wrote that in there. Damn, Wakabi, for real? You still don't give a damn? Wow. T'Challa, you ain't got no friends. Humiliation after humiliation. Then what winds up happening? He get dusted. Why did he have to get dusted? I know you want to make it about the original five or six or whatever going back in time. But hell, you even had Carol Danvers and Ant-Man alive. They didn't get dusted, right? Why did the child have to get dusted? Humiliating moment after humiliating moment. You bring it back in, and now I guess him and Clint buddies in Endgame. Clint, give it to me. I guess they buddies now. You show me the scene at the end of the Endgame where it's him, Ramunda, and Shuri. Now you finna kill him off camera. I ain't seen T'Challa do nothing except die. And you finna open up a movie with him being killed off screen, giving me his funeral services. But wait, the humiliation don't end for the king of Wakanda. You just did this what if goddamn movie. Oh, I'm so good. Oh, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry. He got kidnapped by the Ravagers for real. That was the only story you could tell. I don't give a damn about none of that Thanos being no good guy stuff. I don't give a damn about none of that. What I'm looking at is you cannot seem to tell a story about a black male without them being beaten, kidnapped, humiliated, or killed. I ain't say nothing wrong. Just look at every... I swear to God, if you follow me, just look at every damn video, not video that I've done, look at every appearance of T'Challa. That's a damn shame. This dude is supposed to be regarded like Bruce Wayne, Batman, Superman, Clark Kent, Spider-Man, Peter Parker. This dude that suffered more damn tragedy in his one movie outing than Peter Parker that suffered in every damn movie he didn't been in combined. Why the out? Why is the out and out disrespect, contempt for this particular character by the same damn studio that wants to profit off of it? Hashtag boycott Black Panther two. Hashtag recast the channel or else. I rest my case. Peace.